Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Abby if you're new here and today I'm doing a pretty exciting vlog. It's exciting but it's also kind of sad. Today is moving day for my boyfriend. He got a job offer in a city about three hours away from our hometown. I will not be moving with him right now at the moment. Eventually I probably will, but right now um, we are going to be doing long distance for a bit. I thought I would attempt to try to vlog it and just see what I could get. Hey, today is Friday, September 25th. So um, I just got off work. Basically, I'm gonna head over there and start packing. He's still at work. And I'm just kind of trying to get my ducks in a row for right now. So I will be staying the night with him up there this weekend. Um, I usually stay with him on the weekend anyways. If you didn't see my last video, you wouldn't know that he actually just bought a house here in town six months ago. So I have been staying with him pretty often have my bag packed right there. I am taking a suitcase. I'm gonna be taking the train back on Sunday. Wanted to be able to roll my things. Wanted to be hands-free. So this is everything I am taking with me for the weekend. I know it looks like a lot. This is actually the smallest suitcase I have. Good morning guys. It is about 6 30 in the morning and I have been awake for some coffee. Stella's up and at them. Let's go. It's been about an hour. It's 7.30 now. Um, Spencer just left to run by his parents' house to pick a few things up. I thought I'd give you a little update now that we're a little more awake and it's been another hour. Here, this was the office. This is the room that we need to continue painting. It's also the room where we found a leak this morning in the ceiling. Woke up to that at 5.30 in the morning. It's the hallway. These storage cabinets are all empty. This is the front door the dining room kitchen. So we just kind of have trash and just some miscellaneous things. Just need to pack the food that's in the fridge. I'm gonna do that very, very last. It's not a whole lot. Everything else is cleaned out. This is the living room. I think I already showed this to you. That is the update. We are about ready. I think we're gonna be on our way in about 30 minutes. But I figured I would do a little apartment tour. This is the front door. This is the living room. That's the outside patio. Down this hallway, we have the kitchen, which is the first thing I started working on. So I'm working on filling the pantry right now. This is the kitchen area, the dining room. This is just a little storage coat closet. And then this is another storage closet. The bathroom, just a little bathroom. There's me. Door opens to shower and toilet. And over here is the bedroom. So as you can see, we still have quite a bit of work cut out for us, but we will get there and I will update you guys later. Okay, so it has been a few hours we are here in the new apartment. Everything is in the house and we are still working on getting things put away. But we had to go to Target and get a few things before we could finish. So I thought I would do a little Target haul for you. It's nothing special, just a few odds and ends. First thing we got was this little 
nightstand lamp. It has like the USB plugins. Just black and white. We got two new towels just because we needed some towels. They're from Thresholds and they're just blue. Then I just got some hair ties and some Febreze plugins. It smelled really good, so I went ahead and bought some. And then, oh, I got this super cute Harvest Rainbow. It matches all my other fall decor. So I'm so excited. Then we just got disinfecting wipes. So that's actually really exciting because I don't even have to explain that one. Then I got some more dishcloths. What else? I got some command hooks to hang towels on. I got a new pop socket because the other one just mysteriously vanished. <laughs> I got some face wash and then just a toilet bowl cleaner and then a spice rack. I needed a spice rack so that I was able to see all of them. And then the last thing I got was just another trash can for the bathroom. That is everything we got on this Target trip. We actually still need to get a TV stand. Yeah, I think that's it. So I will update you guys in a little bit.
it's the next day. It's Sunday. It's about 10.30, I believe. Sorry I didn't update you when we got back last night. Honestly, we went to Target like three more times just for things that we needed and it's been kind of hectic, but I'll do my best to update you today. Hey guys, what's up? It's been a while since I've updated you. So a lot has happened since my last update. I'm currently in the car right now. We're about an hour away from our apartment in a, a city we had to come to um, to pick up some things. And basically the car that my boyfriend is driving is having some issues and we need to trade it in because I'm supposed to go home and if his car breaks down his first week of work, he's gonna be fresh out of luck with nobody here to help him. So we're here pulling up to CarMax to check out some cars and I will try to let you guys know what happens. So see you then. updated you and a lot has happened so on Sunday morning which was yesterday we needed to go pick up the Wi-Fi router so that we could set up the Wi-Fi before Monday the Wi-Fi router was in a place that was about 45 minutes from the apartment so we got in the car and we drove over there but we planned on being back around 1 o'clock because I was supposed to get on a train at 4:45 to go home what happened was when we pulled up, we realized that the car was leaking something. And basically, my boyfriend has had this car for like seven years. So we decided we would just go get a new car because with him starting work this week and nobody being in the same city as him, we didn't want to risk him having any car issues and not being able to show up for work. And also he's gonna be commuting a lot back to our hometown, which is two and a half hours away. So he really just needed a reliable car. We tried CarMax first, but they didn't have the car he was looking for. We decided to leave and go somewhere else and weigh our options. So the next place we went ended up having exactly what he wanted and we were able to get the car. He ended up getting a Ford. Um, I'm actually not even sure what kind it was. But it's a truck, it's exactly what he wanted, and he was super happy. So we went ahead and made that purchase. But unfortunately, we weren't able to trade in his old car, which is a Mustang. So once we deemed it was safe to drive home, I drove the Mustang back to the apartment, and he drove the truck. We ended up getting home around 7.30 last night. We hadn't eaten, we hadn't done anything to the house. But we were so tired, we had accomplished basically nothing. And so we ended up just going to get dinner at a place down the street from the apartment, came back and honestly just fell asleep. So that was our day yesterday. It was really stressful and really hectic. And I did not end up going home on a train because I was in a city 45 minutes away. That's why I'm still here. It's Monday and my boyfriend went to work today. I am driving home tonight. I'm not gonna be taking the train. I'm actually gonna drive the Mustang home and that way we can sell it back in our hometown. With all of that <laughs> being said, it is noon right now. It's 12 o'clock on Monday. I will probably be leaving in about four hours. You saw my last video, it was a fall decor haul and I mentioned that I had already decorated the house for fall and I was just adding in those pieces. And now I have to start all over. I thought I would show you how I decorate for fall and should be interesting because this space is smaller than the house we were in. Um, so I don't know where I'm gonna put all these decorations, <laughs> but I will take you along for the ride and do the best I can. So let's get into it. Thank you. 